Uh, good morning. So today is project day on the boat. My bunks need to be replaced. Uh, I know they needed a new carpet when I was down there, uh, you know, kind of inspecting them. The bolts were falling out and uh, one of the 2 by 4s is completely crushed, which is something I wouldn't have seen um, unless I really went down there and inspected it. So I ordered some uh, tough bunks uh, and uh, they're supposed to last the lifetime of the trailer. Uh, I guess I'll do a video later to see and I'll put a description down below on where to get these. Um, and you can also YouTube Tough Bunks and uh, the owner Randy, his video pops up. So there weren't a lot of reviews on because it's a new product but after speaking to Randy I called him on the phone. A great guy, let me tell you. Um, he kind of sold me on the product and uh, <clears throat> You know, when you speak to the owner and he gives you his personal, uh, you know, guarantee that these things are, are awesome. Uh, you know, just talking to the guy, I know I could trust him. So the material is basically a pressurized 2x4 and they, enco they um, coat them with almost the same stuff you would spray on your bed of your truck, but it's a softer material. Um, so they're going to be totally encapsulated and stuff, so they're not going to rot and uh, I'm going to do a little video on installing them today but what I'm going to show you uh, before I get out into the hot uh, uh, pavement out there at the, at the lake uh, I'm going to get underneath the boat and show you where my 2x4 was crushed and the bad part about it, and I was lucky, is it was so crushed that those bolts uh, those, uh, they're very close to, to, to touching the hole of my, of my boat and that wouldn't have been good and it's something you wouldn't have seen, right? You're, you take your boat out and you put it on the trailer. You don't get to see the bottom of your boat unless you stick a camera on there where it runs over those rails. So, um, you know, another thing after speaking to Randy, uh, it made a lot of sense. You know, I, at first I was like concerned because of the product and the material, but, you know, he made a good point and I've seen it too. You know, when you go back to your trailer, you can hit your bunks with the carpet and they're all full of sand and whatever's on that dock. And that stuff is like sandpaper. When it gets embedded in your carpet, you roll over on your boat, and it's going to scratch your hull up as well. So um, we're going to go install these, and then in a few months, because uh, I take my boat off quite a bit, uh, we'll see how they hold up. So let's get underneath it. I'll show you what it uh, looks like. So here's one of them. I just ripped the carpet off here, and you can see that's totally uh, rotted away. Um, which is not good and that's not the one that crushed down the one that crushed down is this one here it's probably hard to notice but um, it's it's I mean this is you know an inch and a half and that's about an inch and what I did what I found out is I put a bunch of glue in there and wood and I put a bunch of washers in there so that uh, that wouldn't um, you know go up and scrape my hull but uh, that's what made me decide to do the project. And once I started uh, pricing all the wood and glue and carpet, and I had to buy uh, special staples for my staple gun. Like I said, it was uh, it really was uh, uh, kind of an easy decision for me to go to the tough bunk. But uh, like I said, let's uh, get to the boat ramp and uh, get this boat off and. I'll make a video on replacing them. So. so I've got the boat sitting there at the at the ramp, and I figured uh, show you some of the tools I brought. I brought some clamps, my impact, my drill, some batteries, and you know just your miscellaneous tools you need to draw some straight lines. I'm going to mark up the uh, the center points of those uh, rails. But uh, that's all I brought, and uh, I'll show you the trailer. Parked in the shade right now, but uh, you know the carpet was pretty thrashed on these bunks. Nice size hole right there. But this is what's really messed up right here. I mean that just popped right off when I <laughs> when I came up. I pulled the screw out, but uh, you can see this is the crushed one right here. So that's probably pretty rotten down in there too. I would assume. 
the rest of these are too. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and uh, well, let's see what happens. coated in like the bed liner. Oh yeah? So we'll give them a try. Where'd you get them at? They're out of Arizona. Do you have some right there? Yeah. Can I look at them? Of course. <laughs> These are my five footers. Completely coated. Got a tough bunk on there. So what I did too is I put a little guide on my drill bit so I don't go through all the way through that 2x4. Don't know if it's necessary, but I brought some marine sealant. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a coat on those screws before I put them in, so that one of those things will be totally leak proof. for the eight footers. Uh, the, the trailer that I'm putting these on is a, uh, a Z7 Nitro, so it takes all two by fours. Uh, they, the tough bunks do come in two by six as well. And uh, you can go on their website, like I said, I'll put it in, in the comments below, and you can uh, order special sizes as well. So, um, so let's get to these eight footers. these off camera so before I put on those eight footers I wanted to see what I had to do last time I was at the ramp I had to jam in these dowels luckily I had them in my truck and uh, just to get that thing screwed back in and uh, here's an under picture of one of my five footers completely rotten all the way through And then here's one of my eight footers. This is the one that was crushed all the way down. Well, if you can see, but at one point I had to jam in some wood in that one as well. So those two by fours are thrashed. But I've got my eight footers marked. And uh, let's go ahead and get those on there. This is moving along really quick, so. Yeah, my boat's down there right now. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a new bunk that's coming out. Yeah? This is a new bunk that's out right now. It's called Tough Bunks. So oh. it's supposed to last as long as your trailer. Good. Yeah. They just bolt on, right? Yeah, you get them already all taken care of. You just bolt them on. And Where'd you get them at? It's out of Arizona. If you, if you Google or YouTube Tough Bunk, he'll come up. The guy, owner's Randy. He's a really cool guy. There's not a lot of reviews on it because he... I don't think there's a lot in California right now, but uh, I watched a review of one of the pros that has on his boat, and I talked to Randy, and he, he kind of sold me on him. So we'll give him a try. Yeah, you know what? Because I'm gonna beat you too. Like. So I'm, I'm excited. So I priced everything out. If I got the glue, the carpet, and because see my my rails are gone. Right. So if I got the, if I got all the materials, it was about a hundred and I think hundred and sixty-five dollars. And the this carpet and the wood for everything, and this was two hundred and eighty dollars for these. But there, he says it'll last a lifetime. Yeah. So we're gonna give it the wheel. We'll see what happens. Nice. Huh? That's interesting. Yeah, it is. Tough bunk. All right. There, there's another company that puts that gives you just inserts to put over the top of your bunk that are the same material. But water gets underneath them, so you'll have the same problem as if you just had carpet on them. Huh. So these are completely encased, and then he doesn't say you have to, but when I put my screws and I'm putting uh, marine silicate, yeah. so they'll be complete, completely watertight. So what, what are these made of? Uh, pressurized 2x4. Uh, oh. So it's the same stuff you'd, you'd have to buy. Right. And the thing about it is I went to Home Depot and the pressurized stuff they sell was junk. So you'd actually probably, I'd probably cost you a little more because you'd probably have to get better two by fours and they sell it like your local. Yeah. You know? I was thinking about making my own there for a while and I thought, well, you know what? Huh. But yeah, it's uh, 280. Yeah, about two. I don't know. Yeah, we have the same boat, so they're two by fours. Yeah, yeah. But huh? Interesting. You know, one thing I, I was concerned is because what they're made out of, right? Mm -hmm. But after talking to him, after talking to another guy, goes, "Think about it." He has other types, so he says, "Think about it." When your boat, when you get your boat and you're back from fishing, go hit your carpet. He said, "See how much sand comes out of your carpet." He says, "Like sandpaper on the bottom of your home." Uh, Right, so you're not losing it. No, I mean, think about all the people that come on the, and they're loading their boat up and they jam their motor on full blast while you're putting your motor on and all that's doing is churning up all that sand. Yeah, oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. I'll, I'm going to do YouTube on the build and then I'll do one in about two or three months because I, I fish 15, 16 tournaments a year so my boat comes off a lot. <laughs> nice. All right, man, well, have a good one. Hey, yeah, you have a great day. So as you can see, didn't take that long. So what's nice about they all come, like I said, all you gotta do is take your old bunks off, put the new ones on, and you're ready to go. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go park this thing and go fishing for a little while. And uh, if any of you guys have any questions, you can lean down at the comment section and uh, have a great day.